Hello there to all my pro gamer friends. And today I just want to give a huge shout out to the homie, Widow, and to Bestie Luna for suggesting this kind of video. And I will be giving you all my tier list from packs to the kits. So let's, and I will be, in this, or just my opinion on how often I use them and etc. And instead of doing the actual you know, way that they use tailors, I'm going to be ranking it by the best, good, okay, and bad. Now, let's get started. For the first stuff packs, luxury party stuff. I it's really of a bad it's probably the worst stuffs pack in my opinion I mean because you only get clothes which you know me I don't really care that much um, and you get a buffet table but yet you know we already get a better buffet table in a different pack so definitely I'll list one perfect patio I say it's okay it's not the best nor the worst thing that could have happened but you know cool kitchen stuff I'd say this is probably I say good. I like it because it adds more stuff in the kitchen to do, like making ice cream and stuff. So that's definitely a good pack. Spooky pack. I gotta say that I say it's good because if you're wanting to do holidays and stuff, this is the pack for you, especially to kind of celebrate Halloween during the fall because you can carve pumpkins you can get like a trick-or-treat kind of like looking ball it's a really f fun thing if you wanted to add more holidays into your thing so I definitely say good movie hangout I will have to say that this is a good pack in my opinion because for me in real life, for those who don't know, I don't really watch TV, so I either, or, you know, I'm watching YouTube or watching movies, so, and I'm glad they have, like, a variety of different ones. Um, the sim, uh, the romantic garden stuff. Mm, I'd say it's okay. The reason why I am not putting it at bad is because it, the wishing well is good for something but besides from that I really don't care for it I've never really been like into like the romantic stuff kids stuff is a good pack because it adds more things for your kids to do like play on this thing and, and they can play with their sibling too if you only have like two kids like it kind of reminds me of like either Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, one of the two, or a whole combination of both. Plus, you know, they can do puppets and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a really good pack. Um, backyard. I'd say Backyard is, well, a mix between good and okay, because it's it adds more stuff outside like besides from like you know pools which is fun and you can also like feed the birds but besides from that I don't really see much vintage glamour this one's okay I don't I'd say between okay and bad because I really don't use it that whole lot I may use like the, some of the outfits, but besides from that, I don't really call butlers and stuff. Um, 
Bowling Knight stuff. I think this is a good pack for to add more stuff for your Sims to go out and do. Like, you can probably go and make your own bowling ring or possibly just upload one from the gallery or something. And to add some kind of cool elements, I guess you can do with it. Um, fitness. I really gotta say it's bad because I don't really use fit do fitness stuff in this game and I really don't use it I, actually I changed my mind it's in the okay section it's not, I don't really ever use it toddlers I'd say okay the, it's not better than ch children stuff because I mean yeah I know toddlers just are kind of cute but besides from that they don't really add much to the element of game like slides and whatever. Laundry day. I say it's okay. Only because I don't really ever use washers and dryer. Because. You know. this extra stuff to their needs that I have to deal with. But. It's fine. My pet stuff. I'd say this is probably one of the best things because it adds like a little guinea pig, but I have to be honest though, so I'm gonna have to put it in the okay because it adds like guinea pig or a hamster or whatever. Uh, mosquito stuff. I say it's okay because I don't really have my, my sims take pictures of themselves. And, but I do like the fact that it did give you more different, like, styles that you can, poses that you can take for. Tiny Living. I'd say this is a good pack. Be because of the fact that you can make, give yourself a small house and you can fit a good majority of things that you normally couldn't fit into a small house without it so nifty knitting i say okay because i never really use it and but it's a good thing if you are wanting to sell and whatever stuff um paranormal stuff pack i say this is a really good pack if not the best because not only do you not only can you do it, but you can also get a haunted house, so that would also be good for if a good tie into spooky or your every holiday stuff, especially if you're trying to make like a haunted house kind of thing. All right, that's it for the stuffs pack. Those are my tier list for them. For game pack wise, outdoor retreat. I'd say it's okay. I don't really use it. There are some things that I will use from this pack in certain of my Sims builds for their lots, but don't. Um, but yeah, spa day. I say this one is mixed between good and okay. Like I like the items and how it adds more stuff for your Sim gameplay to do, and plus you can earn some money from it. And I haven't really checked it all out with candles and stuff wise, but it seems like a pretty good stuff. Dying out. I know a lot of people are probably going to say there's, you know, nothing really too big, but I say it's a good pack. I like the fact like I can actually own a business, like a restaurant, and actually pick what I want to be on the menu, like for drinks dinner, dessert, etc. So I, I rate this as a good. Um, vampires. That one is okay. Like, don't get me wrong. The vampires and stuff are cool and stuff. But there's two pro. But the sun, you always have to deal with. So it really makes it hard and stuff for that. Number two. And number two, I hate Vlad. He always ruins my promotions every time I'm getting ready to take a nap and then 
going to sleep that night and then he comes in all creepily and bites my neck so parenthood this one's mixed between okay and good number one it does add elements like you know empathy responsibility stuff like that and it adds journals which you know it's kind of neat if you wanting to do some kind of story where your sim is writing down stuff I guess I don't know but I also like how when you depending about how you parent and certain skills that they gain they will either gain certain sk different skills based on what skills you learned and I guess it could kind of turn out like different based on how you treat them yeah juggle adventure I say this one's okay, I don't ever really use it, to be honest, but it has some pretty cool stuff in there, though, but I guess I haven't really taken time to explore it. Um, Strangerville. I would say this is a good pack, because it adds, not only does it add more things to it, it actually it has a story to it, to actually go with it. Then there's actually a boss fight that I know if you really go into the story and stuff and it's a really cool thing i personally like it realm of magic i say this is more better than vampires so and plus you have cool unique spells so i say this is definitely an improvement so i'd say realm of magic is pretty cool Star Wars, I know a lot of people are going to say that this is one of the most terrible, but I actually think it's pretty okay to a cool pack. I really don't have a problem with it. I mean, I don't really go to the planet that much, but, or, you know, have my Sims be Jedis or not, but it's still pretty cool if you're wanting to make some kind of, like, warrior, I guess, with a sword. Um, Dream Home Decorator. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say this one is... Okay, stuff in it wise is cool, but besides from that, I'd say I'm not really a fan into it because I'm not decorating decor every single part of my house to make sure it looks, you know, realistic. So, I'm not really a, a fan, so it's going to be bad. My winning stories. <clears throat> this one is in the okay. I wished everything in it worked, but it did add more better mechanics than what we have in the base game for weddings. Werewolves, Chef's Kiss, mwah. Absolute one of my favorite, if not the best, game pack and any other pack in general, just because of the fact that it's werewolves and you, it's a lot more unique and it, and I really like the the world and and a, and a good majority of the NPCs in there, like Rory. But um, yeah, now on so that was my tier list for the game packs, and now to the expansion. Get to work. I say it's a good one. It adds more careers and ones that you can actually go and do with your sim and you know it adds a lot more uniqueness to it get together is a good one and I if not the best because you if you're wanting to find a sim that's single for your sim and kind of get to know them that's a good way to do it and you can just do other fun stuff with it too like a group of friends and it's a good tool to use, like if you want your sim to be friends with certain specific stuff, especially if you have your lot trait where nobody can really come on to it. Um, city of Living. I say it's good. It adds basketball, which I, you know, only I like to play. I don't watch, you know, NBA or anything like that. So I say it's a good one. 
Plus, it adds another way to kill your sims, which, you know, yeah, I'm a chaotic evil, I guess. So, yeah, that's always good. Cats and Dogs, but hands down the best pack because of the fact that when I started playing Sims, I've always wanted to have a dog in the Sims, and when I found out about this, I was completely blown. Plus, it's the only career thing besides out of one other one, which I'm going to get to, that's actually close to my career thing, even though the other one's not really much of a career, it's more of a hobby, but still, one of the best expansion packs. Seasons, definitely one of the best also, because you add like different weather types, like snow, rain, lightning, etc. Plus, you don't always have to have it, you know, sunny at night all the time. Oh, and another thing too that I forgot to mention, the werewolves one thing, I like how there's different moons patterns too. Um, get famous. I say it, it's a okay one. I mean, yeah, it's good. You know, it helps get you rich, and it has one thing that's close to like a station thing and polyamisa thing. But besides from that, I don't really have my characters, the actresses, or anything. So, Island Living Mermaids. Okay, I don't have a problem with mermaids. The map place is beautiful. Like how it adds more transportation and stuff. But, I'm not really an island person, so... Discovery University. I like that it adds uh, robotics, like making people make a robot and all, and you know, whatever, but besides from that, I don't really care for the rest of the pack. Eco Lifestyle. It's okay. You know, but some of the items are cool, some of them, but a good majority of all the rest I really don't use. And it, Snow Escape. I guess this is kind of a good one. It does add some more unique, like, patterns you can make for your houses and stuff, but... Besides from that... Yeah. Um, Cottage Living. Definitely one of the other best expansions, too. And I like how you can have a... Still have, like, a full household of eight sims. And I like how the... <clears throat> How there are animals that are more technically placed as like an item rather than, you know, a household like chickens, cows, llamas, if I'm, yeah, it's llamas, I'm pretty sure, and bunnies, birds, etc. A really nice touch. And I think, you know. And also, some of the gardening stuff is pretty good. And I think it's a really good one. I personally like it. And high school years. I personally love high school over Discover. There's a lot more into it. And plus, there's actually a social thing. There's, you know, you being able to actually shave and stuff. So it feels a lot more keen or something prepped up, say, making the locker how you want, social media, if I haven't said that already, and the fact that I can actually have streaming as a career, even though I just do YouTube and stuff for a hobby, but yeah, those have been all, i say that high school is definitely one of the best also, now to move on with kits. I'm gonna get this one off the bat. Dust, bust the dust kit. It's okay. I like that it kind of adds it where you actually can, you know, make it clean or not. But I feel like there are times where dust shows up a little bit way too fast than it really should. 
so that's another reason why I don't really care. And all of the rest of these are going to be in the okay section for me. This is probably a good one because this actually adds, you know, more of a kid theme for like movies and stuff like that. But besides from that, all the rest are in the okay. But anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Alright, if this video was a little bit long, I'm making for the tier list of all of the different packs and stuff. And I hope you all are having an amazing day and see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.